Why are you? Oh, I think my neighbors hate me. It's my remedy. I will be the garden of your dreams I will be the anchor for the splitting scenes It can be casual or extraordinary I can show you that the darkness isn't scary Cause I've seen things, I've been through it all There's nothing that it brings except a final call Through the stabbed wall When you feel so small you want to crawl back inside Just to figure out just all Cause something special's going on When you find yourself at the door Knocking to the astral world Once you know how it feels, you never fall People change and I like to change my dreams Nothing strange, just a feeling of lucidity It's my remedy To change my dreams, nothing strange, just a feeling of lucidity. It's my remedy, it's my remedy. The reality, there are things to feel. Once you close up your eyes, you can finally see black is in the color and it's breaking you free from this duality world where it's nothing as it seems. You can choose your own path as long as you don't scream from fears of the unhealed traumas. I think Taylor is right. We owe it to come on some afternoons Would feel like minutes when you open up your mind Just to gain some insights What do you see? What do you feel? There's nothing that can actually kill you As long as you see through your fingers What do you feel? What do you hear? There's nothing that can actually kill you As long as you see through your fingers But people change and I like Change my dreams, nothing strange, just a feeling of lucidity. It's my remedy, it's my remedy, not the reality. There are things to see, people change, and I like to change my dreams. Nothing strange, just a feeling of lucidity. It's my remedy, it's my remedy, not the reality. There are things to see. Oh my god, this is like actually so disturbing to look at myself because before I was filming um, on the camera they didn't have like this flip or to see myself but I was just awkward, I should have turned it away but it's okay. Anyways, it's a song and as you might have guessed it's about dreams. Yes, it's about finding yourself, finding your path, and also finding yourself in dreams that is actually, I don't know, for me it's like, how to say, dommage, très dommage. It's very unfortunate, I mean, that 
so many people don't experience lucid dreams ever like any lucid dreams out of bad experience or whatever what they might experience is like sleep paralysis or nightmares and then they're like oh but actually you can go from any nightmare or any sleep paralysis into a lucid dream because it's the same physiological state and then then there there are no limits of what what you can do as long as you know how to set your mind to to it so uh yeah and i mean like there are also people who are afraid that you can get stuck in a lucid dream or like to die in a lucid dream but you cannot technically even like physically even die you can die of course in a dream but you'll still be in a dream you won't or you will wake up but uh that's it as long as you're in a dream you cannot kill you cannot like be killed because you can see through your fingers i mean no it does i didn't want like to mean it literally look through your fingers because the first clue of how you know you're in a dream is to look at your hands and um, usually they won't be the same as in this reality uh, they will be very disordered and if you have like this habit of looking to your fingers or your hands and asking yourself is it a dream am i in this reality um you'll have then this habit as well in the dreams and then you'll realize you're in the dream and from there you it's like a virtual reality basically but with no limits so also some at some point your hands might look like from this reality then you can also count your fingers or you can push uh, one hand through another one and in dreams it'll never be now be like here so i encourage you to try this out but uh oh my god i lost my thoughts again uh one moment one moment Anyways, whatever, whatever I want to say, I don't remember, so I strongly encourage you to, 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 to at least try to have lucid dreams. Sometimes they come like unintentionally, well, I mean, for me it started, of course, unintentionally, and then I tried to figure it out what the fuck is going on, so, and now I can call myself lucid dreamer. I think so. Uh, and also like that. Uh, the main point I think is like when you want to achieve this lucid state is that you shouldn't be overexcited or very afraid of anything. And of course, if you are afraid of something and this is like hanging somewhere in the back of your mind it all will happen in your dreams because dreams are a perfect way to to fight with your fears so for example for me i'm i'm still i think afraid of heights or i was afraid of heights but yeah no i'm still afraid of and i was having a lot of dreams with fights with fights didn't have any with fights no i did i did actually had with fights have with fights but and um, for example i was walking somewhere near near the sea and then i thought oh it would be good good like to swim so i started swimming and then like i realized that i'm thinking oh my god what if there would be something in the water because i'm afraid also to swim where i cannot see like what's down there i cannot like what were when the sea is dark or they're like some creatures that, that, that can be well especially in dreams you don't know what they will be and then i'm like 
I thought in my head in this dream that, oh my God, what if there will be snakes? I didn't know I was afraid of snakes. I love like animals. I love insects. I love uh, reptiles. I also love. And but there were like in the sea there were snakes suddenly appeared all the snakes of course and they were just flying around me so i'm like okay whatever just chill then i was swimming with snakes and then at some point i see a huge 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 shark and then like thousands of sharks as well with with this huge shark and i'm like okay let's see if it'll eat me or what will happen And then I'm just swimming and the sharks just swim through me. And I see like those glitches. I don't know how to say Like, I mean, if you haven't played like Sims or any game, sometimes it lags and you can like halfway go through through the wall. And so basically it felt kind of like just some hologram went through me and I'm like, okay, well... How many other things to to do lucid dreams and I'm already starting to be to be to be to be tired because I thought I'll make it like quick as usual and then I started playing then I started playing then I started playing and then I was playing 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 and not recording and I'm like okay maybe I'll need to record this so yeah anyways anyways stay lucid and thank you for watching um for listening and be the guardian of your dreams remember your dreams it's very important and remember your dreams and be aware of your thoughts because they can control your surroundings so thank you for watching and for listening and i'll see you soon hopefully because lately i've been sick so many times i don't even know what ha- what is happening with, uh, with me i've never been like usually i'm not sick more than twice or thrice per year and this was like for three months i've been sick so many times and still even now like i'm not sure i fully recovered but at least I can try to sing. Anyway, thanks again and see you.